everyone, this is Mrs Edwards bringing you your numeracy lesson for today, place value and today we are focusing on comparing numbers, so that's numerals and number words. Okay, so by the end of today we will continue to be developing our understanding of numbers to 20 and we will be able to discuss the similarities and differences between numerals, numbers and number words. You will definitely need paper and a pencil and you will also find useful a number line to 20 and your counting objects. Okay, so let's kick start the lesson. True or false? Now, this is where you've got to really focus today because there is going to be lots of chopping and changing between numerals, which you might know as numbers, and number words. So here it says true or false and then there's a number word. S -e -v -e -n. Seven is less than 17. Is that true or false? Pause the video, think of your answer, and we will check in a moment. It is true. Here is 17. Here is 7. You can see it has gone right back. We've been counting backwards, and you can see that 7 is less than 17. So that is definitely true. Okay, so first main question for today's session, which is the greatest number? And like I said, you need to be aware that you need to be recognising your numerals and your number words. So we have got here, we're looking for the greatest number, and we've got the number 10, which we can recognise really, really easily. Then we've got a word here, n, i, n. 9, 9, then we've got another one, fift, fift, e, n, 15, 15, and then we've got another number word, t, were e, n, t, e, 20, so we've got 10, 9, 15, and 20, which is the greatest number, pause the video, Work it out either by counting or by using your number line and we'll check in a moment. Okay then, so to help you out I have written the number words and the numerals next to each answer but you can see that 20 is the greatest number. If you remember greatest is another way of saying the most or the biggest. Greatest, biggest, most. Um, it all means similar and 20 is the greatest number. So well done if you got that right. Okay then, next question. Which is the smallest number? And this question is really testing your understanding of numbers up to 20 now. So you need to be really looking carefully. This one, this number is phrased 1, 10 and 6 extra ones what does that mean? What number is that? If it's 1, 10 and 6 extra 1s, what is, what is that number? Think about that. Then this one here, 10 add 8, what number is that? That's, not, that's a, a number sentence that you need to complete there to figure out what that number is. So 10 add 8. Then we've got a number word, t w e l v 12. And then we've got the numeral or the number 13. So we're looking for the smallest number there. So is it this one? 1, 10 and 6 extra ones. Is it 10 add 8? Is it 12 or is it 13? Okay, pause the video, work it out and we'll check in a moment. Okay, so firstly I'm going to just address these two answers here because I need to make sure that you've got the right numbers. So did you all get that 110 and 6 extra 1s symbolise the number 16? I hope so because if you look there, there's our 110 and there's our 6 extra 1s. And then did you all get that this one was 18? Yeah, because 10, add 8 more, add 8 extra 1s, add 8 more is 18, so those are quite big numbers, so it can't be that one, because neither of those are, are the, the smallest. 13's quite small, but I can see a smaller number, and it's 12. Did you all choose 12 as the smallest number? 
if you did well done that is the correct answer okay so going back to using our less than greater than and equal to symbols I have written them here so you don't forget them so less than you've got the the sort of the smallest bit first less than greater than you've got the greatest bit first and equal to is our equal lines together so we've got to complete these number sentences or these phrases and it says 12 is something to 15 so is 12 less than greater than or equal to 15 you can use your number line or your counting objects to help you figure that one out b 15 is something to 13 is 15 less than greater than or equal to 13 pause the video use your counting objects or your number line to work it out c 20 is something to oh t w e n t e 20 also oh, that's the number word 20 look can you see so 20 is something to 20 is it less than greater than or equal to and then the last one on this page again look we're trying to trick you can you see here it says 110 and three extra ones so the first thing you need to do is figure out what is that number first what is 110 and three extra ones and then once you know what that number is is that less than greater than or equal to 14 pause the video use your number line or your counting objects work out the symbols that you need and i'll show you the answers on the next page okay then so 12 is less than 15 and i've written the words for you here as well so we've got less than there's my little less than symbol and 12 is definitely less than 15. If you look at your number line now, you will see that 12 is three jumps back. No, two jumps back. Three jumps back. 15, 14, 13, 12, three jumps back. So I concentrate, Mrs. Edwards. So you will know that it's less than because it's, it's um, counting backwards from 15. B, we've got 15 is greater than 13. 15 is a bigger number then 13 20 is equal to the number word 20 even though it's the number word it's still symbolizing that 20 and it is equal to isn't it so it's the same as it's the same value it's equal to and then did you all figure out that 110 and three extra ones is 13 can you see there's our 110 and there's our three extra ones you can see it there and 13 is less than 14 only one less but it is still less than isn't it so well done if you got those answers correct great job okay this one should be quite quick so um now that you're getting confident with your greater than and less than symbols you've just got to complete these number sentences so 9 is what to 11, less than or, or greater than. 12 is what to 5, less than or greater than. And 15 is what to 13, less than or greater than. Remember, the crocodile always eats the bigger number. And when you're reading it, less than, the, the least part is first, and greater than, the greater part is first. So think about that as you're working it out, and we'll check in a moment. Okay, so 9 is less than 11, and I've written it for you. 9 is less than 11. 12 is greater than 5, and I've written it for you here. And 15 is greater than 13. Did you all get those answers correct? If you didn't, don't worry. You can use your number line to check and do it again, or you can use your counting objects to double check and have a go again. Please don't worry if you're making mistakes because that's how we learn. That's right. Okay, let's check the next one. And I've got a feeling this is our last one because I remember it having quite a lot of questions to answer. So take a little breath because we have got a few to work on before we finish. So it says, complete the statements. Now, what I love about these question year ones 
is there are lots of correct answers. Okay, there are lots of correct answers. So you've got really good chances of getting all of these correct because there are lots of answers that you can use. So the first question says 17 is greater than what number? 17 is greater than or bigger than what number? And you've got to choose a number there that 17 is greater than. Okay? B, 13 is... Do you remember what this symbol is? It's the greater than symbol. 13 is greater than what number? So again, it could be quite a few numbers. Have a look on that number line. C, 16 is less than what number? 16 is less than what number? Find the number on the number line and look at what your options could be. D says this number here is equal to, that means it's the same value, it's the same as 110 and 9 extra ones. So you need to be figuring out what 110 and 9 extra ones is because then you need to find the number that is equal to that. The number that is the same as that. E, we've got 10 add 4. So again, that's another one where you need to work out what that number actually is. 10 add 4 is greater than what number? 10 add 4 is greater than what number? And then the last one, this number here is less than one more than 15. So if, what I would do first there is I would figure out what one more than 15 is and then you need to find a number that is less than that because it's saying here that the number you are going to choose has got to be less than the number that is one more than 15. So that's quite a tricky one so I'd take your time over some of these. Right, pause the video, work with a grown up or an older brother or sister Take your time and we'll check the answers in a moment. Okay, so I have colour coded the answers for you to try and help you see what your um, answer options could be. So, in black I've done the first um, answer and I've put, I've just chosen a, ran a random correct answer and I've put 17 is greater than 13. So I'm saying 17 is bigger then 13, there's 17 there, and I picked 13, you can see that 17 is definitely greater than 13, but you could have had any of these numbers that are underlined in black, can you see all of those numbers, 17 is bigger than, now you couldn't have put 17 because that would have been equal to, but any number that is smaller than 17 means that 17 is greater than it, so it's a correct answer. B, 13 is greater than 10, that's what I chose, there's my 13, and I can see that 13 is definitely greater than 10, because there's 10 and 13 is definitely bigger than it, it's greater than it. But you could have chose any of these numbers underlined in red, any of those numbers there would be correct answers because anything that is less than 13 means that 13 is more than those. So you could have chosen any of those ones. C, I've colour coded in green, and it says 16 is less than 18. So there's 16, and there's 18, and you can see that 16 is less than it. But you could have chosen 17, 19, or 20 as well. And either of those four answers would be correct. D, I figured out that 110 and 9 extra ones, there it is, 110 and 9 extra ones is the number 19. And if you look, I had to find the number that was equal to that. So the number that is equal to 110 and 9 extra ones is the number 19. So you can see there is only one correct answer there. 
for it to be equal it had to be number 19 because they had to be the same value they had to be worth the same they had to be equal e 10 add 4 what does that make 14 that's right 1 10 and 4 extra ones is 14 10 add 4 is 14 there it is and the question is 14 is greater then what number? And I picked 11. There's 11. 14 is definitely greater than it. But you could have had any of those numbers underlined in purple. So well done if you got that one right. And then this one here. We had to figure out this bit first, didn't we? So one more than 15. There's 15. And if I jump one forward, that shows me what one more is. So 16. And then the question was, what number is less than 16? And I've actually put 15. Because 15 is less than one more than 15. But you could have had any of those numbers that are underlined in yellow. So well done if you got those answers correct. I had quite a lot of fun working out which numbers I wanted to choose. So I hope you did too. Um, and if you did, if you found it quite confusing, just, just take your time, pause the video, have another go. It doesn't matter if you um, made a little mistake, just keep practising because practice makes perfect, that's right. Right, you have worked really, really hard, year ones, you always do. Stay safe, take care and I will see you very soon. Bye bye.